What you just saw is a computer vision-based system detecting fire in real time, without relying on traditional smoke alarms or heat sensors. Just using a camera that can detect fire instantly. This is the power of computer vision. Conventional fire detection systems often react late or require expensive infrastructure. But with computer vision, cameras themselves become smart, detecting flames the moment they appear. Using this industries can respond to fires faster, stay safer, and save costs without needing extra hardware. And in this tutorial, you will learn the step-by-step -step process of making such system using computer vision. Hello everyone, welcome to this computer vision tutorial on how you can find tune YOLO for fire detection. So in this tutorial, we are going to train a YOLO model on a custom data set for detecting fire. So to do that, you have to follow some steps. So our first step is data set creation and annotation. So to train our YOLO model on custom data set, we have to create a data set. I have created a data set of few videos you can see. These videos are of sudden fire which happen in public or private area. So these are the data set on which we are going to train our YOLO model. First, we have to annotate these videos. To annotate, we are going to use our labeler plat platform. Let's get to our labeler platform for annotation. So, in our next step, we are going to annotate our data set. As you can see, I am on our labeler platform and I have created a class called Fire and uploaded our data set here. So, we are going to annotate the fire when it occurred so let's see so around this way it's, it's showing fire i am using labeler sam tool for annotation let's remove unnecessary parts So it's around. So now we are going to use SAM2 tracker for annotating the whole video. Let's run SAM2 tracker and wait for it. After waiting for a few seconds, our SAM2 tracker has annotated our whole video. Let's see the result. So, as you can see, SAM2 tracker has done a good job annotating each frame of the video. It's around 680 frame. So we are going to accept it and then we keep repeating this process until all of our data set has been annotated and then we can export our annotation JSON in COCO format. Let's get to our next step. So when annotation is complete, you can, you can export your annotation in JSON format. This is the structure of JSON format we will see. Now, our next step is to convert this JSON format into YOLO format for model training. So, so to do that, I have created a library which helps us in doing so. Let's clone it. As you can see, it hasn't cloned. Now, from YOLO uh, fine tune utilities, we have to import uh, find uh, video annotation from YOLO converter and then import convert to YOLO segmentation. So let's do this now you can convert the annotation and the video directory which is data set and yeah, you have to keep the use split true and pro provide the split ratio this is for train val and test and the output directory name 
let's convert our annotation into coco into Jodo format as you can see it's converting our video and annotation into yolo format let's fo wait for a minute so when the conversion part is over you will see there is a folder occur which is in yolo format it has test train and val folder of images and then there is label folder and a data.yml file so let's get to our next step of model training in our next step we are going to train our model on custom data set so to do that you have to import yolo from ultralytics and open cv library in matplotlib lib then run this now now you have to select a model of yolo which you want to train your custom data out i am using yolo v8x segmentation model as our data set annotation is in a polygon so and then you have to train your model using model.train and you have to provide data argument to the part of this data.yml part so this is the part data uh, yolo format slash data.yml and then the number of epochs you want to run your model training on and the image size and the batch size so let's run this and wait let's skip to the next part so when your model paint is completed there will be a runs folder created inside there will be a segment folder and then there will be a train folder so inside that train there will be a weight and here you can get your models weight so there is two model weight dash.pt and last.pt so let's see its result i'm going to take a sample image from the video So so here is a sample video of fire. Let's run our model on this sample image. So here you can see it has detected the fire. Now let's in our next step we will see our model on a in, in model inference on a video. Let's get to our next step. So to inference our model on a video, you can you import OpenCV library and numpy. So you have to first provide it with the video part and then you have to take each frame or read the each frame of the video one by one and store it a frame and then you have to perform detection on each frame using model dot predict here you can see the source is frame and then for each detection you have to annotate the mask on that uh, frame and then draw that box this is very simple and basic open cv script and then you have to save that in uh, save that using video writer function so let's run this and see our result on various data set video So you see the inference result of our custom YOLO model, which was great. Now you know how you can train your own YOLO model on custom data set and choose any classes. Like here, I choose fire classes. You can train your YOLO model on various other classes. So let's see you on our next tutorial. For more computer vision or machine learning related tasks, you can check our GitHub, where you will find everything in one place.